Hello, I'm Maddie. I'm Karina. <laughs> and this is Everything But the Fairy Tale Sink. Today's... Oh, God, I'm already laughing. Sorry. Wow. Wow. <laughs> um, today's episode is the one that I'm honestly extremely excited for. We're doing the Baban Shi from Scotland. And before we get into it, Karina, how have you been? I uh, have been very busy. I just started a full-time job this week, and I'm doing 19 credits. So I'm exhausted, which usually makes for funnier episodes. So, And bad sleep schedules. Extremely bad sleep yeah. schedules. Instagram reels are bullying me. <laughs> I keep getting ones that I'm, are like... I'm pretty sure you've done this to yourself, because I, I know what you've stumbled on, and I know that, like, you fell down the rabbit hole, and because you fell down the rabbit hole, Instagram thinks you enjoy that sort of content. <laughs> All right, should we do recommendations today? Yes. My Hi. recommendation is to treat yourself, be it you go out and you buy yourself a coffee, you go out and you take a walk, you decide that you don't have assignments due today, so you don't do any work for the day and just relax and take the day for yourself. Um, my recommendation of the day actually goes very nicely with yours. I recommend just sitting there and binging Jane the Virgin when you have time. It is so funny. I know probably most of you have already seen it. I'm behind on it. I haven't it's seen it. It's so funny. It's so cute. So you're ahead of me. Um, episode five. Also, I am interchanging my drinks. I have a water <laughs> and a tea because I have... My um, big chonko that I got from Amazon. Also, and water. I have arms today. I'm not wearing a sweater, so I noticed you have arms. I have yeah. half arms. Yeah, usually I wear sweaters when we record, so it's like Same. sunny enough that I can mm -hmm. wear a jumpsuit with tank top straps. Anyways, <laughs> let's get into the episode. So, as I mentioned at the beginning, this episode is about the Baban Shi from Scotland. And they are fairy vampires. Neat. <laughs> so Bhavanshi roughly translates to fairy women, fairy woman. And their other names are the white women of the highlands. So they're like, you know, they dwell in the highlands of Scotland. And they mm -hmm. usually attack men because... I don't, I don't have a good reason, but if they attack a woman, so if the Baban she attacks a woman and the woman dies from her injuries or from the attack, she becomes one. And so the men just, the men just die and the women <laughs> become this almighty, uh, not almighty, but this really cool, interesting creature. Mm -hmm. So, so ba, ba, ba. aha. So. As I mentioned earlier, they mostly attack men and their preferred victims are hunters because they have blood on their clothing and they're drawn to the smell and appearance of blood, kind of like vampires, you know, when mm -hmm. in Twilight and someone gets a paper cut and Edward's sitting there like... We don't he's... need to reference Twilight. <laughs> you know and what? If we get like 500, descri what? 500 subscribers by the end of May, which will never happen... I will publish a blog post about my thoughts on Twilight. Just do that anyway. Oh no, I don't need to go down that spiral right now. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, the Bob and she, they don't care about money or power or youth. They just care about freedom and just kind of doing their own thing. So yeah, usually they are beautiful women seen in long green dresses and these long green dresses hide their hoof like legs so they're a beautiful woman on top and then they have like horse legs basically or goat legs and that's only one version some of them say they're like a complete a complete woman so they're like human woman head to toe <laughs> the main reason that they were green is because green is the symbolic color that represents fae and all fae creatures in scotland mm -hmm. and they this is my favorite part. The way they get their victims is they lure them by dancing. Hey, that sounds familiar. I was going to say, so <laughs> as um, I think we briefly mentioned this, Karina and I used to do Scottish Highland dancing. 
And <laughs> historically it was all males and it was done like before battles or after battles. It was very associated with fighting and, you know, mm -hmm. war. But eventually women wanted to do it too. So they decided to uncover some old dances that were women only dances. And quite often these dances were done at, what's the word I'm looking for? At like, um, drafts. Well, I know. Hmm? Drafts. Yes. Yeah. So they, they would have, bring them they would in. basically have um, tables where, you know, young men could sign up to fight in the Scottish army. And they would have beautiful women dancing these dances to lure the men to this table to sign their life away to the army. I would like to say this was in like World War One. <laughs> yeah, this isn't, I mean, it's, yeah. When you say dancing, I'm honestly picturing more like kind of the folk, like almost Kaylee style dancing. Yeah, um, less so, violent. It's not yes. a bar fight. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, they're murdering victims. So is it it's truly true. less it's violent? Good. Yes, but no, they, they lure them. And then they, you know, the men become entranced by her. And when they are close enough, the mm -hmm. Babanshi's nails turn into claws and they just, oof. Yep. I will also say that dancing is kind of reminding me of the Rusalka because that was a big way they would like draw people in. Also, of course they wear green. Green is the best color. Anyways, so Babanshi traveling groups, they are rarely mm -hmm. ever seen alone because... I couldn't really find a reason for that, but they do travel in groups, they attack in groups. They're just mm -hmm. a very pack-oriented creature. Mm -hmm. Anyways, some people actually think that the vampire legend, which we talked about in our vampires mm -hmm. episode, go watch that if you haven't. Some yes, people please. think that the legend of vampires actually started with Babanshi instead of Dracula, because Dracula is a fictional character Mm -hmm. who was written and created based on a real person and they think that you did vampires one was yes. vlad the impaler a thing so vlad the impaler was a thing and please don't use centuries try and give me years i'm really dumb year. you know what i can find the exact year we can cut to when i found the year if it's taking me too long yes he was born in 1431 and he died in 1476 okay so that's Older than I thought. For some reason, I didn't think it was as old as that. I thought it was like 1600s. Uh -huh. Anyways. I did too, actually, for a second. That's the whole thing. They think that the Babanshi came before Dracula. Well, they cannot. Mm -hmm. In a timeline, they came before, but they think the legend started with Babanshi. Anyways, so Babanshi are also able to transform into a wolf. Hey, that sounds familiar too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. See? I feel like the more we start getting into uh -huh. these episodes, obviously, because this is episode like 14, I, 12 12? or 13, 13, I have 13. it on my script, it's 13. Oh, this nice. is episode 13 for us. So we've obviously been able to discuss a lot mm -hmm. of different cultures. And so it's interesting to see how they've all like bled together and, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. kind of inspired back. each other. Oh, sorry. We can come back to this at the end, but. I yeah. do want to, like, mention kind of the theory of, like, the ancient gods and stuff like that when we get to the end. Yeah. So, anyways, it is said that when the Bhavanshi drinks a man's blood, she is then able to take on his appearance. Now, I couldn't find if this was a permanent thing or a temporary thing or, you know, what they did disguised mm -hmm. as a man. But it is said that in some versions of them, they are able to drink their blood and then take on their appearance which is pretty, you know, we see that often with Fae being able to, you mm -hmm. know, the changelings of the Fae culture and everything like that. So I ate salty pretzels before this, which was a really dumb idea. <laughs> You're all good. But um, the most popular story of Babanshi was recorded by a Mackenzie clan member. So any <laughs> Outlander fans? My know brain the... definitely just went. I was going to say any Outlander <laughs> fans who know the Mackenzie clan. <laughs> Anyways, so the story is that a young group of hunters stopped for the night at a hunting lodge. So they'd been hunting mm -hmm. all day, they were exhausted, and they found this hunting lodge and decided to just rest there for the night, and then they were going to continue hunting the following day. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they're drinking, they're partying, they're having a good time, and these four women decide to join them because, you know, these are four men, they're like, yes, women. <laughs> so the women join them. And they begin to dance, and the party gets a little rowdier. 
and mm -hmm. they're pretty drunk. And as it grew more, you know, crazy, mm -hmm. the Bob and she just went to three oh. of the four men. So they just slit their throats while they were dancing and partying and having a good time. Can you imagine what a way to go? You're just. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! No 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 no! No bagpipes. <laughs> okay, but if it's a party, you know the bagpipes showed up eventually. But I don't know if they had bagpipes because they were just at a hunting lodge, so presumably yeah. there were. Who knows? But um, they were dancing, and the women just went. Okay, but Maddie, alternative theory. Yeah, it was literally just like. A little bard standing there going, nee, 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 nee. <laughs> that's all for now, folks. We're done with the episode. Um, see you all next week. <laughs> I think I'm going to get fired today. Yeah, we'll save that for after, after we're done recording. <laughs> Anyways, so the one man, because remember, there were four, the one yeah. man who survived ran outside and stood with the horses all night mm -hmm. because why why get help when there are horses <laughs> you know like he, he didn't choose to get help um so then in the morning he went back to the lodge once the women had left and mm -hmm. saw his friends dead on the floor oof it's kind of where the story ends i wasn't able to find out what happened um afterwards or what happened mm. to that man but out of four clan members one man survived because he ran away to the horses which i will get to in a little bit okay, i was about to ask about do the horses have something to do with that yes but before we get into that i want to talk about their appearances in literature yes. because this is my oh. favorite thing to research so <laughs> yes i this part i was messaging you about this part way way long ago when i was researching I this episode i don't remember so the Bavanshi make an appearance in Michael Scott's The Magician, The Secrets of the Immortal Nicholas Flamel. Not Michael Scott from The Office. Okay. I and like, not wait. Nicholas Flamel from Harry Potter. Okay, I know Nicholas Flamel is actually like a historical legendary figure. Yes. So this man named Michael Scott wrote a book about Nicholas Flamel and all the philosophical okay. things he did. And the Bavanshi make an appearance in that. I wasn't able to find out like where they made an appearance or how but now for my favorite part there is a series of books about the babanshi called the dancing vampire series that's fun so in my mind i haven't actually seen any covers of them but in my mind i'm picturing those really crappy romance novels with the oily oh men on the front and the women in the pretty bougie dresses yes that's what i'm picturing but okay, you know no, like the it. Like the, it's the Dancing Vampire series by Cornelia Amiri. And there are books called The Vampire Highland Fling, A Bonnie Vampire Dancer, and much more. What and is the last name? Amiri, A-M-I-R-I. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Um, if I'm smart enough, I will put a picture of a cover of one of these books in the podcast video but for now karina and i are going I to oh you, you sent me one thank you and mm -hmm. oh yes it is exactly <laughs> what you think oily men in kilts and women licking their necks <laughs> <laughs> that's all oh, that's not what covers are oh my god if i laugh anymore i'm gonna cry my makeup off anyways Back on topic, because <laughs> we're both very squirrel brain today. This is terrible. We really are. <laughs> so, going back to the horses I mentioned earlier and how the man survived the night by going out with the horses, mm -hmm. there are ways to ward off the Bavanshi. You mm -hmm. obviously can have iron with you because they are fey, and fey's of any sort are diverse to iron. You mm -hmm. know, you can't, you give yeah. them iron jewelry or anything iron. It burns them. They're unhappy. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so the reason that the man was able to survive with horses is because Bob and she are actually scared of horses. And I couldn't That's find great. a reason why. I'm going to look that up right now while I'm talking. Bob and she would lure 
in Highland Hunters drawn to the men by the smell of blood on their kilts. Yes, mm, me too. I, I too am attracted to sweaty, bloody Highland men. Okay, so going back to this story, it was recorded by Donald Alexander McKenzie. Gotcha. That's who the story was recorded by. I can't find why they're scared of horses, but they're scared of horses. Okay, Honestly, I twist. kind of am too sometimes. Fair. Plot twist. A Bavanshi and a Kelpie just got into a tiff like 2,000 years ago, and neither side has forgiven each other since. And that's why they're afraid of <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. Anyways, um, another way to... This is not a way to ward off Bavanshi, but this is a way to trap them is mm-hmm. you put them in a coffin and then build a stone cairn above the grave. And to find what a cairn is. I have to Google that. <laughs> I would get some sort of like, oh my gosh, my earbuds do not want to stay in my, oh, a cairn is the rock tower. Okay. I said yes. a hump, so I guess I was sort of close. Yeah, you build a hump over the, co- over the coffin. <laughs> but anyway, the coffin's making an appearance. Yes, so you trap them in a coffin, you build a cairn over it, which is, you know, those rock towers that you see while hiking. Mm -hmm. They build one of those on top of it, and then that keeps them in the coffin. Anyways, I don't have that much. That's really all for this episode. So what did you think? That was fun. Um, The reason I was the most excited for it was because of the Dancing Vampire series. I just thought that that was one of the most ridiculous things I'd ever seen. Really funny. But also, I just think it's so... I mean, they're really cool vampire fairy things, so what's not mm-hmm. to love about that? But just the story of, you know, they're dancing with these women and then they're dead the next morning. Yeah. Why don't I party? Really, <laughs> I would really like to imagine, though, that just, like, they literally were just dancing around and, like, as somebody was doing an arm movement, it just went... Can you imagine? <laughs> It's like entangled where they're all spinning around in the town circle and they like, yeah. Yeah. It's that, like, it's like all those little things that people make of like, imagine you're running into a ballroom. It's like, imagine oh being God. spun around by a baba and she and then your throat slit the next second. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's kind of, oh, I was going to go back to like the, the old gods and stuff like that. Yes. Now that I know about, like, the origin of a lot of the mythology we see in, like, the continental Europe, Mm -hmm. continent of Europe, not continental Europe, (laughs) Um, it's really more, like, it's fascinating because, like, the Rusalka and the Bavanshi have a lot of similarities, Mm -hmm. though it sounds like the Bavanshi isn't necessarily, like, a water spirit or, like, a nature spirit. No, they're more of, like, just a... A fairy mm-hmm. creature. So, you know, fae are kind of synonymous with that. And I also forgot mm-hmm. to mention they, like Rusalka, constantly have their hair unbound. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, no, it's just, it's interesting to me of, like, now that I've looked into that, mm-hmm. you can really see the connections and places that you really don't expect. Mm-hmm. And, and I and wish Rusalka are Rusalka are far more benevolent than the Babanchi are, you know? Are they, though? They don't slit men's throats after dancing. No, they just drown them. Yeah. (laughs) One's a lot less messy. (laughs) Yeah, so that's all. What's your wish? Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, my wish is that if you Because we discussed this. I know, that doesn't mean I remember. Um, My wish is that if you're somebody who is plagued with bad internet, especially during the time of COVID... Simply um, fiber. Hmm. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, um, I wish that when you're watching, like, Netflix or something, you can get through an entire episode without it going super pixely for, like, two minutes. And my wish is that if you're in line to get coffee or food, either standing in line or you're at a drive through that the person ahead of you pays for your meal. That's pretty good. Yes. And what's coming up next? Up next, I snapped way in advance for that. <laughs> up next, we're going into the legend of the Thunderbirds and how it varies between many a Native American tribe. And yeah, I think it'll be a fun one. It's going to be a little more not bloody than our normal ones. <laughs> so join us next week for that. Yes. And make sure to like, 
this video and subscribe to our channel. Go follow us on Instagram and TikTok. And the website is still being a little finicky. We decided mm -hmm. that the place that we were originally going to do it with was way too expensive. So now we're looking into another option. Mm -hmm. So we will just kind of stay updated yeah. on that. And if by any chance that by the time this video comes out that it's up, we'll put it in the description and Maddie can put like a little note on there. However, no promises. Yep. Anyways, bye. Hey. <laughs>